Hey everybody, thank you for watching and welcome to my channel. It's Eden Sophie and today we are doing something different. As you can see, I'm comfortable, no makeup to be done here. <laughs> In this video, I collaborated with my very good friend Safreen, who is also a Cameroonian YouTuber and we are doing a Cameroon tag. So check out the description box for her YouTube channel and subscribe to her channel and also follow her socials. She's a uh, She's great. She's hair specialist. She's makeup guru. She does all. Okay. She's she's great. So Safreen and I we came up with some questions. So let's get started. Okay. So the first question, Sonia, is what tribe are you from? So I am Bameli K. Because my dad is Bamili K and my mom too, she's Bamili K. But my stepmom is Southwest. So I'm Bamili K full time, full Bamili K, and then like half um, Southwest. Next question Do you speak your dialect? No, I don't speak my dialect. And that's not my fault. That's not my fault. Like for, for real, like I envy my boyfriend right now because whenever he's talking with his mother and his sisters and his sister, he they speak creole and then it's just like nice they can have like conversation private conversations and like people who don't know the language won't really interfere or get mad if they're insulting us or anything like that but i don't speak my dialect at all i do know how to say like hello which is i'm gaka at piano um i think there's another one ulila is that it <laughs> But that's it. That's all I know about my, my dialect. I wish I spoke my dialect. I don't know if it's too late to learn, but it would be something to actually speak to my mother so we can gossip together. Okay, Sonia, I think you're gonna like this one. What's your favorite Cameroonian meal? I don't have a favorite Cameroonian meal. My gosh, like I know that's so sad. And it's even sadder. Has that been a word? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because I don't even crave Cameroonian food. The only thing that I cook often is aero, but I don't, I don't eat it. Like I will cook it for like my best friends and just friends, but like I wouldn't sit and say, "Hey, I'm craving a aero. Let me cook it." No. And my boyfriend is Haitian, so it's not like he's gonna wake up one and say, "Hey, I want to eat cocky." <laughs> Which food represents? Your tribe. That's a good question. So the food that represents my tribe is called pompile. So pompile is uh, potatoes that you smash with beans, and I think like you cook the beans separate, you cook the potatoes, the potatoes separate, and then you smash it together like in a big pot, and then you add salt to t for taste. I think that's it. So. Sonia, where did you live when you were in Cameroon? In Cameroon, I lived in Bamenda. Like, I was born there too. I lived there for 18 years. I even went, I did everything. I did primary school, high school, university. Well, half one year university. So where did you always wish to go, so? Kribi and Limbe. I have always wanted to go there. I still want to go. I feel like when I get to Cameroon, I would go there because I see pictures and really beautiful places in Cameroon from just my friends, vlogs, and just acquaintances, Insta stories. And I'm like, wow, Cameroon is beautiful. Like, I want to visit these places. So I'm really looking forward to go taking a trip there with my family. I feel like we're going to have so much fun. When's the last time you visited slash when do you plan on going back? <sighs> like, honestly... Since I came to Canada, I haven't left. Okay, I've been here since 2012 and I haven't gone back ever since. And the thing is that there's so many reasons behind it, which some of them I'll keep personal to myself. But what I can tell you is that I am scared of heights. So like just boarding a plane and just taking off scares me to death. The second time that I've taken a plane in my life is when I went for my sister's graduation. I do plan on going back if COVID-19 permits us, I will be going back next year. Hopefully early during the early the early like January, February. I really want to go back. I miss my mom. I miss my family. I miss everybody. What represents Cameroon internationally? 
I think football, right? Football is the only thing that represents Cameroon internationally. Like every single time I tell anyone I'm from Cameroon, the only thing they want to talk about is soccer, football. And it sucks because I, <laughs> I can't even, I don't even watch the games like that. And I only know, they only know it will feast. And is it Roger, Roger Mille? Roger Mila? Yeah, they only know this too. And I'm just like, mm. I just shake my head every single time. Mm. Yes, yes, we're good. We're good in soccer. We're good in soccer. But um, yeah, like, I don't, that's the only thing I think that represents Cameroon internationally. I do wish and pray that one day we are going to represent Cameroon internationally in the beauty industry. We need a brand, and a Cameroonian international brand that is going to be known, you know, internationally. What item in your home represents Cameroon? I do have a flag in my home. It's a very tiny flag, really, really tiny, and I actually got it from my sister, so it's not like it was mine. I have Aero, so, excuse me, so Aero should represent... So Cameroon. Who is your favorite Cameroonian artist? I don't have one. Who's your favorite Cameroonian artist? So oh my gosh, my favorite Cameroonian artist is Mr. Leo. Like, hundred percent, Mr. Leo. I love Mr. Leo so much because he he sang this song "It Go Better," and that song helped me. I feel like he was talking to me when the song came out. <laughs> so. I I feel so blessed because that song really just guided me through. It's literally just says what it says. It, it go better. Like don't worry, it will get better. Other Camerina artist, Salasio, and please don't come and think that I'm saying that because he sang with Beyonce. Because I know you guys are gonna come for me, but no, like I actually do love him. I listened to his his latest release and I heard him speak on Clubhouse. And he sounds, he's human and he sounds like a normal person and he's, he's literally someone that you can actually look up to. He's super hardworking, he's very, very versatile. I've watched him, I've watched his songs with like, I think he sang with some Haitian queen. And then like his other collaborations with other artists from Cameroon. He's amazing. So yeah, Mr. Leo and Celestia, they have my heart. Okay, this one is, is very, okay, be careful how you answer this one. So, so what do you love or hate the most about your country? Well, I definitely love the food. I love the food, for sure. I feel like my mom's cooking is the one thing that I miss so much. And, you know, just coming to this Canada and just struggling to just land on, your, your two, on my two feet was just food. Like, I was just missing that a lot. So that's something I'm really looking forward to when I go back home. I don't even, I'm not even craving like soya or anything like that. I'm just craving for my mom's cooking. Even if she has to cook like plum and plantains, I will eat it. <laughs> the thing I don't like about Cameroonians is that they're not reliable and that they cannot, they can't, they don't support your own, if that makes sense. And also, aside from all of that, just, you know, the fact like watching people's vlogs about, you know, about home and especially the people that live in Bamenda, it's really sad because where I grew up is not the same place. It's empty. There's no commercial avenue. There's no, there's no back market. Like I remember my friend and I would just go, we would leave the house just to go to back market to go and, you know, hustle and buy stuff like clothes and really cute stuff. Just look cute. But now you can't even do that there because there's just no one there. Everything is gone and just you know the the shootings and the the. the uh, I don't even want to talk about this. No. Okay. So, do you speak pigeon? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I try. Oh, I try. Every every time I try to talk for pigeon, it ha it so the it just hard. I okay. <laughs> Scrap. No, I don't speak pigeon at all. Like I I understand pigeon. I do understand, like you can speak pigeon, I will understand everything you are saying. But then for me to speak it, it's just, I always mix it. And and it's so sad, right? Because I grew up in Bamenda, you would think that, uh, 
no i can't speak pigeon at all so this is the end of the video don't forget to check the description box for safrine's youtube link and make sure to subscribe to her channel and support my girl Big. and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video give it the thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.